And there they go. Sneeds away in last. Mo Crazy Blue shows pace with grit and glory. Cozendo comes away running in third. Here's Sneeds from between runners. Parade Field from his inside. Flat Bill in a tight spot. Three deep just outside of him. You've got mail. So the pace battle is on as expected with Mo Crazy Blues and Grit and Glory. Parade Field wants to get involved saving ground inside of Sneeds, who's from between runners. And Cozando runs with them in the clear, three deep entering the back stretch. Towards the tail of the field, you've got Mail and Flat Bill. 24 and 2 fits. Mo Crazy Blues on the stretch out almost a length to Grit and Glory. Cozando is pressing the tempo. Three deep Parade Field gets a nice ground saving journey. Sneeds is up close in the two path, two and a half off the front. Two lengths to flat bill, half a length or so back to you've got mail. 49 seconds to half, grit and glory, Mo Crazy Blues, Cozando right there, three deep. Parade Field needs somewhere to go in behind a wall of three leaders heading into the turn. Sneeds gives way just a bit. I'm going to flat bill and you've got mail. Cozendo making his move to the outside with this wide journey. Parade Field's going to try to quicken along the rail. So it is Cozendo with the overland route. And to the inside comes Parade Field. A big opening for Parade Field. And what a trip for Parade Field. Saving ground throughout. Cozendo's had to cover a lot of ground. Parade Field, Cozendo. And then we go to Mo Crazy Blues and Grit and Glory. Parade Field. Cozendo trying to come and get him to the outside. Parade Field got to save all the ground. Cozendo had to take a deep journey. The advantage with Parade Field. Cozendo second. Flat Bill comes running on for third. Fourth place, Grit and Glory. And the opener is official. Three seconds. And there they go. Betty Rubbles out for the lead. I know you ain't talking to me is showing pace. Smart Broads up close from the far outside. Home Del Park gets to save ground. La Cafeteria from between runners. I know you ain't talking to me and Betty Rubble vying for the top spot. Home Del Park continues to save ground along the inside and Smart Broad gets into the two path. La Cafeteria content to be the early trailer last to five and a little more than five lengths from the front. I know you ain't talking to me, and Carlos Camillo on the lead, two lengths to Betty Rubble. Homedale Park vying for third with the favorite Smart Broad. Another two lengths to La Cafetera, still a little less than five lengths from first to last. Good opening quarter of 23 and four. I know you ain't talking to me. Speeding clear opens up three and a half. Here's Smart Broad with an early move. Smart Broad taking over second, passing Betty Rubble. Homedell Park joined by La Cafetera. Homedell Park all the way to the back marker. Smart Broad coming to call on. I know you ain't talking to me. I know you ain't talking to me. Two lengths. Smart Broad second. Here's La Cafetera with a nice run from third. And fourth is Betty Rubble. Not much from Homedell Park. I know you ain't talking to me. Smart Broad gets within about a length and a half. And La Cafetera's into third. I know you ain't talking to me. The one to come and catch. Smart Broads under a vigorous drive from second. And third, La Cafetera. I know you ain't talking to me. A little quick through that opening quarter. And here's Smart Broad asserting her authority on the class drop. And up goes Smart Broad. Smart Broad opening up her seventh career victory. I know you ain't talking to me for second. Then La Cafetera. And here's Homedale Park, who finally decided to run in the final quarter of a mile and get up for four. Four two, the early double, three six, ten dollars twenty cents. Six three exacta, eighteen dollars twenty cents. Six three four trifecta, nine dollars ten cents. Super six three six. And there they go. And Gray Wing was away in last. So Father Walsh broke alertly this afternoon with Andre Worry aboard, and he has the advantage. Gray Wing, after the uh, slow start, trying to rush up along the inside. Devil or Angel is two and a half for three from his stable mate. It's a break of two lengths, Invaluable Will advancing into fourth and Trap the Dream in Interstate. So Father Walsh broke very alertly this afternoon, and his main nemesis, Gray Wing, didn't, so the advantage is with Father Walsh at the three eights. And he travels comfortably enough, leads by better than two and a half lengths to Gray Wing. 
who gets a tap trying to cut into the margin and he does and these two put a space between the others in third races devil or angel then invaluable will interstate and trap the dream and father walsh has no excuses this afternoon he's the one to come and beat and he gets away from gray wing devil or angel third i'm going to trap the dream father walsh running like a good thing this afternoon he puts it all together all he needed to do was get out of the starting gate andre worry and father walsh much the best here's devil or angel for second trap the dream third gray wing checks in fourth for the super dollars 80 cents the paul barrow exact at 27 dollars 154 trifecta 15 dollars 62 cents 10 cents super 1542 $7.60. ready for the race and there they go pretty good start for all and showing some pace is iron horizon with war smoke go get the bag wants to push from the outside pentangeli from the top shelf support the cat along the inside then the last chic and honor mr baby nowhere near the front in his second career start and war smoke means business on the comeback bid travels beautifully through the early stages go get the bags into second iron horizons third pentangeli looks to save ground heading into the turn and he has more than three to make up on war smoke three lengths back or so to support the cat another five to the last chic honor mr baby's the last of all and war smoke's ready on return he's the one to come and catch Go get the bag and Pentangeli pursue this big comebacker. War Smoke turns for home with the lead. Pentangeli riding the inside. He gets within a length near the final furlong. I'm going to go get the bag. War Smoke still has something left. Pentangeli playing second fiddle once again. Support the cat late on the scene into third, making a move for second. War Smoke in front. Another one for Andre Worry. Poor Pentangeli just keeps running up against Buzzsaws. Not even sure if he hung on for second. Support the cat. Tried to tag him late from Peter Edwards and others. And race four is official. Andre worries double. One five, twelve dollars eighty cents. A five. And there they go. Rattle Maze out for the lead. Inside of Tina Burner, Empress Pulpatine comes away running in third. Subtle Giant is fourth. I'm going to one journey, weather advisory, and long shot Smoke and Ziva is the last of seven. And Tina Burner is making the pace. Somewhat surprisingly, Tina Burner with the top spot. From Rattle Me, Empress Pulpatine third along the inside. And Subtle Giants in a nice spot heading into the turn. Only two and a half off the leaders. Two and a half to weather advisory, a little less than five lengths from the front. Better than two to one journey, and Smoke and Ziva's at the back. And Tina Burner has been the speed of the race, and Rattle Me's coming under a little pressure. Here's Subtle Giant making a move into second. Empress Pulpatine, a little less than five off the lead, joined by weather advisory. Tina Burner trying to spring the upset. 21 to one on the board. Rattle Me fighting for a minor placing with Subtle Giant. Weather Advisory coming to call on the leaders with strong left-handed urging. And now she's wandering a bit. Tina Burner, Subtle Giant, Rattle Me, Weather Advisory. Who's it going to be? Rattle Me coming back for more with Subtle Giant. What a finish. Rattle Me, Subtle Giant, Tina Burner, Weather Advisory. Didn't know where she wanted to go. And the fifth. And there they go. Good start for Boxton and Board this afternoon. Straight to the front. Also up close in the second spot is Ever Graceful. And Albany Yates is into the race a little earlier than normal. Frankie knows best vying for the second spot. Also there, five alarm freak out. Four of them line up for second, chasing the chalk of Boxton and Board. Then the breed trainees at the back, one tick lady and Sue B. Boxton and board with a much better start this afternoon than her recent start. She's in command heading into the turn from five alarm freak out in Albany Yates. Ever graceful is giving way just a bit back to fourth from her outside races. One tick lady from her inside is Sue B. Frankie knows best as the last of all. And Boxton and board tends to her business builds up five lengths. Albany Yates is into second. One tick lady makes a move for third. Nothing from five alarm freak out up the inside is Sue B. And the board told this tale here. Boxton and board all over this group. Albany Yates clearly second. Then Sue B. 
Five alarm freak out. And from the inside, ever graceful. Six to five, boxed in and board. And everybody knew about boxed in and board this afternoon. Albany eights clearly second. Then Zuby and five alarm freak out. The books officially 5217. The double three, $5, $12.80. A 5-2 exact, $11.40. 521 trifecta, 51. Ready for action. And there they go. Happy time away in last. Vroom, vroom with a sharp start. Baby Dreams is there. Janice Joplin wants to go. Going home now makes four of them gunning. Sweet DeSantis comes away in fifth. Then the honorable eye. Shoop, there it is from the far outside. Mucho Mamma Mia, second last and happy times the last of all. Pace on up front with Baby Dreams and Janice Joplin, the big long shot and the chalk, separating themselves by about six lengths to Sweet DeSantis, striding into third inside of going home now. Break of more than three lengths to Vroom Vroom with Shoop, there it is. Another two and a half to Mucho Mamma Mia and the Honorable Eye. Happy times at the back. They're going quick up front, 23 and three-fifths. Baby Dreams almost a length to Janice Joplin, stalking smartly. Sweet DeSantis gets a nice trip from third, six off the pace. More than a length back to going home now. Two and a half, Shoop, there it is with Vroom Vroom. Four lengths to Mucho, Mamma Mia, the Honorable I, second last. Happy times, the last of all. And there goes Janice Joplin opening up. Janice Joplin quickly opens up on this group. Going home now, makes a move for second. Sweet DeSantis from the rail. Baby Dreams gives way. Shoop, there it is into the fourth spot. Look at a mucho mamma me and vroom vroom. It's all about Janice Joplin. Janice Joplin with a big healthy lead at the 360s. Sweet DeSantis fighting for second with going home now. Shoop, there it is, and mucho mamma mia. But it's all about Janice Joplin. A good looking lead at the 16th. Janice Joplin. Come on, come on, come on, and take another little piece of my heart now, baby. Janice Joplin, a comfortable winner from Shoop. There it is. Mucho Mamma Mia. And checking in fourth was going home now. Looks officially 910012. A 5 9 Chris and John double, $7.40. 910 exact to $14. 910 one tri. Ready for the big race. And there they go in the 50th running of the New York Derby. It was a stumbling start for Maker's Candy, and he's towards the tail of the field. Allure of Money has the pace to himself. Taconi Road is up close. Then we go to Mo Trump. Here's Maker's Candy with a quick recovery, getting forwardly positioned, heading into the first turn. Freud me in saves ground. We'll go to Tis Lucky and Wind Giant. So it's Taconi Road who picks up the pace from Allure of Money and Maker's Candy stalking in the clear after the stumbling start. Along the inside in the two path is the gray Mo Trump. Freud me in covers the rail and he's a little more than three off the lead. Tis lucky three deep and wind giant is a little more than four and a half off the pace. 24 seconds allure of money puts his head in front of Taconi Road. Makers Candy has settled down. He stalks superbly in the third spot in the clear. Mo Trump is a little more than two and a half off the lead. More than a length to Freud. Me in, racing with him. Tis Lucky from the far outside, splitting them, win giant. 48 and four, allure of money up to the front. Makers Candy comes with his run. Mo Trump outrunning his odds to the three eights within a half a length. It's allure of money and Makers Candy and Mo Trump and they separate from the others. Tis Lucky tries to make a move for fourth then to Coney Road. Freud me in and win giant. Allure of money's running a big one. Makers Candy to the outside. And Mo Trump is third, turning into the stretch in the 50th running of the New York Derby. And here's Maker's Candy to confront Allure of Money. And it's a good race at the eighth pole. Allure of Money and Luis Perez. Maker's Candy and Jose Ortiz. They put on a show in the New York Derby. Allure of Money and Maker's Candy. Allure of Money. The local hero does it. Allure of Money and the Diamond Man, Luis Perez. 10 cent super, two, six, three, four, thirty-six dollars fifty cents. The pick six. All six is worth eight hundred thirty-nine dollars. Kodiak Brown a little anxious, ready for the nightcap. And there they go. Slight bunny hop from Kodiak Brown. A mandatory payout away in the last spot. 
and firing out to the lead is star in the making with duck pond road bellagio right there with them and english laughter and further out is easy shot no lime tries to get involved and to his outside is marble moon so back to the top so top spot where star in the makings on the lead and chasing him is duck pond road easy shot is third and english laughter forwardly placed along the inside saving ground Bellagio and No Lime out a little more than three and a half to make up. No Lime a little deep entering the back stretch. I'm going to Marble Moon, mandatory payout. Kodiak Brown and Kingfish is the last of 10. 25 seconds and up to the front. No Lime. No Lime tries to make an early move for the top spot. Star in the making and Duck Pond Road going with him. Easy shot back to fourth, isolated in that position. English Laughter now six off the lead. Mandatory payout and Marble Moon to his outside. Kodiak Brown from the rail with Kingfish and Bellagio's the last of all and star in the making as the lead from Duck Pond Road. No lime is third, easy shot fourth, little less than four off the lead. It's a break of about three lengths to English laughter, mandatory payout, Kingfish, Kodiak Brown, Marble Moon and at the back Bellagio. Here's Duck Pond Road, here's easy shot and they are swarming on star in the making. No limes, the gray in the two path. English Laughter tipped out for his run and here comes English Laughter and Kingfish tries to get involved. English Laughter, an easy shot. Kingfish behind them. English Laughter's up to the front. English Laughter chased home by Kingfish. English Laughter, Kingfish. English Laughter in the nightcap. Jackie Davis, that girl bookends the New York Derby Day program. Easy shot was Zuck and then Kingfish. Three nine eight one, two three a late double, two hundred fifty six dollars. Three nine exact one hundred sixteen dollars. Three nine eight trifecta one hundred eight dollars twelve cents. Three nine eight one ten cent super one hundred forty three dollars. Nine two three a late pick three ninety two dollars eighty seven cents. Five eight with four six nine with two with three our late pick four two hundred twenty one dollars twenty five cents, all five in the Monday pick five three with five eight with four six nine with two with three five hundred eighty one dollars twenty five cents. That's it for the New York Derby Day card. We will do it all over again tomorrow. One fifteen first post. Sure hope you had a great day of racing when leaving the track. Please drive very carefully. This has been Racing from Finger Lakes Gaming and Racetrack. Good night, everyone.